A new study shows that heroin use has increased all across the country and among different people that you might not expect. A WVUA 23's Jack Royer spent the day investigating the heroin epidemic here in Tuscaloosa and joins us now live in the studio with more. Jack. Philip, drug abuse doesn't discriminate. Throughout the country, drug task forces and treatment centers alike are attempting to curb an upswing in the heroin epidemic. It's a drug that's cheaper and more readily available than you might think. It's an old drug with a new problem and a new clientele. This is the same class of drugs as prescription painkillers. Dr. Tricia Witte says it's not always the drug addict in the alleyway using heroin. It's the everyday people, the person next door that starts with a prescription painkiller and can't stop. Well, the very next phase they're going to move to is heroin. It's a lot cheaper and it's surprisingly easier to get a hold of than a pres prescription pain pill is. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, heroin use among women has doubled over the past decade. Experts say these days it could be a housewife addicted to this hardcore drug. You know, heroin's a nasty drug. Agents with the West Alabama Narcotics Task Force say the work they do towards drug prevention is the best form of treatment. You've got to track this stuff down. If you can prevent it in the suspects out there, the dealers are afraid to bring it into Tuscaloosa County, that helps your problem. If you don't have the money focused towards, you know, officers and equipment and that kind of stuff, then you're not going to stop it. It's going to spread even more. Those struggling with addiction can get help at places like the Phoenix House in Tuscaloosa. Ronald Colvin is the executive director and a recovered addict himself. Well, it's a 90-day program. We like for them to stay 90 days. And uh, while they're here, we find them jobs. We put them back to work. He says there's still a long way to go. Heroin-related deaths have quadrupled in the last 10 years. There were 8,200 deaths across the country in 2013 alone. Use of the drug has increased 60% among people making more than $50,000 a year. That's just 5,000 more than the median household income in Tuscaloosa County. Heroin deaths are down. Heroin use, however, is up. A mixed bag for police and treatment centers alike. I think there needs to be money for treatment and people need to have treatment programs. But the problem is a lot of people don't want treatment. Um, they get arrested, they get caught with it, they get hospitalized with it, and they're right back out there doing it again. We need help from the community to work with an organization like that, for example, to start getting motivated and make some changes. Because you do it once with heroin, you're, you're done, you're addicted to it. There is some disagreement between police and some treatment centers about how money should be spent. The drug task force is not publicly funded, but instead operates on money that's seized from drug busts. Treatment centers like the Phoenix House receive some public funding, but their leadership told me today it's just not enough. An ongoing problem for a revived heroin epidemic. Live in the studio, Jack Royer, WVUA 23 News.